Hi, morning everyone. I'm Colin from the National Parks Board. Myself and two other colleagues, we manage the Sisters Island Marine Park. So um, today is a special day. We will be uncovering a nest that we relocated from East Coast Park at the Turtle Hatchery itself. I've, I've always enjoyed the sea since maybe primary school days. So uh, I was staying in Budo, then I keep cycling uh, to fish at Budo Jetty. <laughs> um, so I interacted with a lot of people who has links to the sea. Uh, my, father, uh, my grandfather was actually a sailor. So I suppose there's some form of uh, salt water in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Small Sisters Island is uh, meant, it's close to members of the public. It is for conservation and research only. So that's why our hatchery is here, because it's not, uh, it won't be disturbed. Right now, I'm removing um, the sand on top to check whether the hatchlings are out. Um, we don't use any tools because um, our hands, we can actually feel whether we get to the eggs ready. So if you're using a shovel or, or, or some um, harder um, equipment, you may actually accidentally poke uh, the eggs itself. So um, this is to ensure that we don't damage any of the eggs, so we have to use our hands. Uh. Every time we see this, it's, it's very exciting because these are critically endangered hawksbill turtles. Just seeing a few of them, is like, it makes our, our work really encouraging. Like, it you know, gives us a, very, a lot of encouragement in, in what we are doing. I, I do hope that my kids, for example, will get to see this uh, 30, 40 years down the road and, and this thing won't um, go extinct. I think they are critically endangered and we are doing our very little bit uh, by helping them survive. Well, after they emerge, we will actually come down, uh, do measurements of the hatchlings, um, do a sampling of the nest. Sometimes they emerge in hundreds, uh, easily more than 100 of them will emerge. We'll take a sample of 20 of them, do things like uh, carapace measurements, um, weight of them, count the number of scales. It gives us an indication of how healthy they are. Um, if out of the 20, a lot of them are actually deformed, like they are missing a sh the scale here and there, or they are um, much lower, very light in weight. Uh, it gives us some indication of the health. So uh, after a long-term recording of such nests, it, it gives us uh, some indication whether we'll have a healthy batch of turtles coming back to Singapore 20 years' time. Imprinting uh, is their sort of recording of uh, the parameters here at Sisters Island. So they will most probably uh, record uh, things like uh, the water parameters. I mean, I mean, some researchers believe that they will record chemical properties of the water, uh, maybe even the taste, including uh, Earth's magnetic field, so that they can come back to this area eventually uh, when they are older to, to nest if they are females. I find satisfaction in knowing that um, what we are helping with, my kids may see the results of what we are doing. Um, and hopefully, the kids or my kids will, will still continue to get to see the the fascinating scene I, I get to see in uh, the sea as they grow up. I sort of do, do feel a bit like a father, so we have been monitoring this nest uh, since the beginning, since the relocation all the way to the release. And then hopefully we'll get to see them again in 20 years time or so. I hope you enjoyed witnessing the release of the turtle hatchlings today and the behind the scenes footage of how we managed the Sisters Island Marine Park during the turtle nesting season. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!